Hey guys, it's Eric Salgado, the App Pro with AppPro.com, and right now I'm here with Hector. And Hector, you're actually a fitness model and actor. And so right now I'm going to let Hector tell you a little bit about what he does, and then we're going to talk about um, was it top three tips for doing a photo shoot. Photo shoot. So Hector, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. So as Eric already said, um, my name's Hector and um, we are here at the camp, the boot camp, and um, I will be talking to you guys about three tips about how to perform and do the best photo shoot you can. And the number one tip I say would be the most and the most important would be definitely become in as lean and mean and ripped as you possibly can. You want to be at your tip top shape and um, you want that for that time being you want to be you know looking as, as best as you can and um, in order to achieve that obviously you're gonna have to you know before the photo shoot you're gonna have to be, be able to have trained already well have already had proper nutrition and um, all the results have already have to have come already up have, uh, have to have come up already you know and have already resulted from your prior actions and your prior efforts from from your training and from all your regimen that you've been going through. Uh, when you're trying to get ready for a shoot, let's say like your first, um, for a first timer, someone that has never done a photo shoot before, do you recommend that they work with like a coach or someone experienced to kind of help them out with the whole prep work in terms of like getting themselves dialed in and conditioned for a shoot? I definitely believe that um, if you have no prior experience, no, um, no nowhere of knowing to, where to start, you should definitely consult with um with a coach or you should attend um fitness classes such as the camp you know where they will definitely give you you know toned lean muscle and will show you exercises to improve your not only your athletic performance but also your overall physique yeah. and um you know give you shed away those body fats uh pounds of um, body fat and um you know keep the good weight in and leave the bad weight out no, yeah, and I think one of the, the major, um, I guess, misconceptions is a lot of people when they're trying to do a photo shoot is a whole weight loss versus fat loss. And I think someone who's experienced like a coach could really make sure that you're losing the right weight because, you know, if you're trying to do like a fitness shoot or look your best, sometimes if you end up too skinny or you end up doing the wrong type of training and nutrition, you end up losing a lot of your muscle as well. And that doesn't always look that great on the camera as well. And so, so the first step is getting yourself conditioned for the photo shoot. Obviously, it's very important. No last minute prep work could really prepare you unless you've already gotten yourself into um, the condition that you're looking to present in front of the camera. And your first or your second tip for them would be? That would be the first tip, definitely come in at your tip top shape and um, your overall conditioning at its best. Yeah. And uh, the second one would be um, definitely to take the time to do the prep work before the photo shoot, maybe um, three to five days in advance, depending on how your body is, is looking, how um, if you're retaining water, how, how much body fat you're already carrying. Um, you will want to you know, at least deplete for three to five days so you'll get the glycogen out of, you know, out of your body and also you'll dehydrate your body, not eating foods with a lot of high contents of salts, high content of um, of um, sodium levels, you want to stay away from that as much as possible, and um, you know stick to you know lean meats like tilapias and asparagus, which will asparagus is a natural diuretic and will you know dehydrate you, and as you're drinking the water, it will be flushing it out of your system and all the salts in there. So um, by the end, before your photo shoot, um, you'll come in very dry, with no water retention, and your skin sticking to your to your muscles as much as possible. Yeah, and it, I think that's completely true. And like I said, a, a diet coach or someone who's experienced will definitely be able to help you out with that. It's kind of a learning experience, though, in reality. I, I, we've both been competing as nat national men's physique competitors, and every time you compete, I think you learn something a little bit, um, how to, I guess, deplete yourself a little bit better. Definitely. So it's, it's, it's definitely a process, but having someone experienced could help you out with that to make sure that you don't make any major mistakes that you might regret in the day of your photo shoot. Definitely. And it's all a trial and error as well as, as Eric said. 
and um, you know, from competing and having done it, you know, you learn more and more and how your body reacts because everyone's different. Yeah. Um, some people don't even can have bacon. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, pretty no, much, no. I mean, in a sense, and um, so you want to see how your own body reacts to yeah. things and and um, test that out for yourself and um, and make sure you know your body before before you go along with the process, so you don't have any mishaps or anything of that sort. And then our, our third tip for them would be... And our third tip for them would be um, coming in well rested, very presentable as much as possible, you know, um, not having you know, bags under your eyes, you know, your skin looking flawless, <laughs> you know, looking nice. Um, I mean, whether it be, you know, getting a tan because you don't want to be in the photo shoot and um, when you're looking at the photos, wow, you look a lot paler than, <laughs> than you thought you did. And so you, you want to have that um, you know, nice even color on your skin. You want to, um, your expression to be you know, lively and, and be able to be there. So that's ex extremely important, you're well rested. And especially since you'll be depleting and you won't have uh, as much carbohydrates in your body and you won't feel maybe a little bit queasy or nauseated, you'll definitely want to, um, you know, make the most out of it and rest and let your body recover and, and feel well yeah. for it. You know, definitely, it will definitely show in the camera okay. if you do or not. Yeah, no, and, and sometimes that's a little bit hard too if you're stressed out about like the photo shoot, but you definitely want to try to do as much prep work beforehand so that those last couple of days you're able to rest and, you know, just do little things like tanning to even out your skin. For someone like me, I'm really pale right now. I still have a little bit of color from my last shoot, but um, but yeah, it makes a big difference, guys. Sometimes you don't think like the color of your skin will make a difference, but in the photo shoots, it does make a difference. It definitely does. But get a good spray tan. Don't go orange. Yeah, so. don't go below bow right now. <laughs> um, nice, nice looking tone. So if you guys are ever interested, um, Hector, how would they be able to contact you if they had any other questions? Um, do you have an email address? You can contact me at, um, my email address is uh, h.ruiz.romo at gmail, hruizromo. Uh, and my Facebook profile is um, Hector Ruiz Romo as well. So you can look me up under any of those two. And uh, feel free to ask me any questions, um, any advice that you would want me to give you or any input. Um, and I'd gladly be there to help you all guys out. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day. We really appreciate all your knowledge. And uh, yeah, looking forward to maybe competing with you in the near future. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Thanks.